Hi, Saggy. <clears throat> Welcome back, guys. I hope you guys are doing well. So let's tap in Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with my beautiful, my handsome Sagittarians. All right. Thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations. I am sending all that love back to you guys, Saggy. <clears throat> tenfold, okay? Hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday evening. All right. And you're preparing for the start of the work week. Okay. Sending you guys a lot of love and light. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share. All right. The love is very much so appreciated. Okay. So let's see, Sagittarius. 636 is on the clock. Let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods, and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that are sent to harm Sagi and her loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages from my Sagittarius. <laughs> and protect me as I channel the messages here for Sagi. So somebody could be trying to bring chaos to a divine masculine. Someone purposely causing chaos or mischief for entertainment. And then we have divine masculine. So, I mean... Or somebody could be pretending that they're divine, but they're not. They're really a chaos agent. They're wearing a mask. But I feel like it's the other way around because ain't no divine. Ain't nobody divine finna sit up here and cause no chaos. So somebody's doing this to a divine masculine, man or woman. So let's see. What's going on for Saggy? So we have third party situation. Exactly. Why? Okay, so we have legal issues here. Someone got sued, fighting court battles, getting a lawyer contract going wrong. Then we have high vibes, high vibrational person, energy that feels good, light, and easy. Okay, that came out with that. I'm going to leave it over there. So, this could be you that's happy. You're high vibe. You're being high vibrational while somebody else is over here dealing with a third-party situation. <laughs> They're dealing with legal issues. Okay, so why the fuck are they focused on why the fuck you so high vibe? Like, what? maybe they need your energy for something. What else? So we got shady. Giving the impression of dishonesty, questionable, suspicious, untrustworthy. Then we have, I feel like, I feel like somebody feels like they lost at something. And I feel like they did. Because they see you over here probably happy as fuck. Yeah, the truth been unveiled. They see you over here happy. And they trapped in the situation that they can't get out of with this third party. And so they're like, damn. Yeah, damn. The fuck? So we got high key. Always drawing attention. Very obvious. Assertive. Very public. Then we have sabotage. So for some of you, what I'm getting is that you could be seen publicly. Maybe you do draw a lot of attention. You could be in the public eye. And... um. Somebody here noticing here that somebody is shady. Yeah, the second house and truth unveiled. The truth could be being revealed about a Taurus or somebody's possessions. Maybe how, how they possess something or how they got something or somebody's car is being repo. Okay, so the truth, the truth could be coming out about how somebody is shady and how they try to sabotage something is what I'm getting from that. Or somebody's trying to sabotage and ruin your reputation. Or that's what they try to do here. I'm getting a couple things. Yeah, look. Truth unveiled. <laughs> the truth has been or will be revealed in this situation soon. Secrets have been kept hidden that will come out. Then we have intimidated. And then we have copying your style. Someone likes how you dress, talk, look, etc. So much that they try to act like you. Fifth house, ninth house. Split personality, toxic connection, divination spine. Okay, period. So let's see. Sagittarius. Yeah, so this third party, whoever this third party person is, they're getting, they're going through some sort of legal things. For some of you with toxic connection, there's a common couple here that's going through. They probably fighting each other or they're dealing with some other shit. And you over here, high vibe, you happy as fuck. Ain't no reason for you to be tripping. But the truth is unveiled about how somebody here tried to copy you or whatever, and how they're really intimidated by you or whatever that dumb shit is. People are really weird. Instead of just saying, yeah, I fuck with you. I like you. I admire what you do. Teach me how to do this. Teach me how to do that. They are intimidated and they want to take something. It's like, you bitches are fucking weird. I don't understand that human language. 
Okay, yeah. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, death card reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio. Somebody's a loser. So this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, yeah, this could be somebody that's a social climber that tried to sabotage you. They're being they're they're being seen as shady. Okay, so this could be the person that's in the this person could have a platform too, or they could be in the public eye in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But But, um, sorry, I wanted to read something for my son's school. But uh, they, they're seen as shady or they're getting ready to be seen as that. Just period. So let's see. What's third party situation with legal issues and high vibes? Somebody's trying to pretend like what? They ain't going through shit, but they are. <laughs> okay, yeah. Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. So this could be spiritual court or this could be like 3D court because, I mean, <clears throat> somebody could be getting bad news as far as their finances goes. They could be a scammer, a gold digger for sure. Somebody here could have married someone for money. Or there could be some sort of legal issues here for some sort of exploitation. Uh, Nine of Pentacles. I mean, pa yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse could be... Uh, a lot of divination spying or black magic. There could also be some sort of plan or something that didn't work. For some of you, there could be a determination of a child. Like somebody could have had an abortion or somebody here lost a baby. So my condolences if that was you. Somebody here could have could have uh, had a miscarriage. Hmm. What's not a pentacle reverse? Because that is 10 pentacles. Some sort of plan just flopped because somebody's with a gold digger or a scammer. It's like somebody that's not, they not sufficient or they, you can't build nothing with no gold digger. But what's not a pentacle in reverse? Yeah, look, the ace of wands reverse. Hmm. So, yeah, lack of energy or lack of creativity or passion, desire for something. This could be a disinterest. So, somebody here was got pregnant by someone. I feel like they asked. They went to the abortion clinic because they like, I ain't dealing with this shit. I don't know. <laughs> but that's for some of you. But, yeah. So, the Ace of Wands is bad or disappointing news. Somebody's getting some disappointing news here. With the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Wands reverse, something is stuck or is delayed or there's a there's a disinterest. So what's Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Wands reverse? Yeah, look, the Nine of Cubs, there's something about a baby. Something about, about children, a pregnancy. Definitely could be a marriage announcement or an, uh, an engagement announcement, I meant, or marriage, I mean, a pregnancy announcement. Um, This could also be, too, exploitation. Or that's what I'm getting as well. Like something about exploitation is here. Somebody here, there's something about revenge porn. I just heard Sagittarius. What the fuck? So whoever this nine of pentacles is, that's copying your style. They're not, they're not able to do that no more. There's something that's blocked. They ain't getting something. Nine of cups. This could be fame, accolades, success, rewards. Yeah. Your wish being granted, Pisces, Jupiter with the nine of cups, something about sex, sensuality, pleasure. So somebody here doesn't want to fuck someone no more. Ace of Wands reverse, nine of cups. Somebody's disinterested in having sex with someone. That's what I'm getting. Somebody could be doing like sex magic or something like that. Somebody's doing some weird shit. What's this nine of cups? Or they're, yeah, the two of swords, two of swords, Libra moon. It was nine of cups, two of swords, five of swords, Aquarius, Venus. So somebody, somebody is trying to do something. They're trying to get something, but they can't get it though. Five of swords, they could be doing this through a ritual. This could be magic. Definitely could be some form of sex magic or something like that. But the five of swords is trying to win something at all costs. Definitely somebody's like trying to bully somebody or trying to outsmart someone or they're doing something underhanded, very sneaky. Okay, abusing their power or something like that or something criminal. 
Five of Swords is a criminal and abusive. Somebody's abusive. Two of Swords. Somebody could be taking somebody to court and saying, yeah, they, they abused me. They sexually, you know, trigger warning. And they are APED me or whatever this is. But the Two of Swords is like trying to choose between two paths or something being stuck in denial. That could be somebody being in denial. Or somebody's like stuck in between a rock and a hard place. They don't know which way to go or what the fuck to do or choose. Or how to choose something. What's this two of swords? Yeah, the temperance. Yeah, something is protected. Somebody's not getting something. Just period. So the temperance is alchemizing energy, balance. I feel like restoration, rejuvenation. Somebody's like in denial that you're protected or they're in denial that something is balanced in your energy. So there's something going on here that they're just not going to get. Yeah, somebody's trying to steal energy. Literally, the four of pentacles in reverse, king of cups in the reverse, in the, in, the, in the sun, to me, is somebody trying to steal your life force. This is like um, vitality or your shine. They're trying to steal your shine or something like that. Maybe there could be something being exposed. You could be opening up about something here, sharing something. But I feel like somebody's trying to steal some shit that's protected. Especially for some of you guys, if you're pregnant or this is something about your um, your your fame, your fortune, whatever they say that you're getting, your prosperity and abundance. You're not, these hoes, they're not getting that. So I don't know what the fuck they're doing. What's the five of swords? That's you, Sagittarius, with the temperance. Yeah, the world in reverse. Yeah, somebody just needs to cut their losses. They just need to cut their fucking losses. Something here failed. And it's very disappointing to somebody. Mm. What's the five of swords with the word reverse? Yeah, Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. So this Knight of Cups in Reverse could have revoked their offer from this Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. I feel like that's a gold digger that this person got with. They revoked their offer. Somebody here doesn't want to fuck someone no more or whatever. <laughs> like, it's what it's giving me. This Knight of Cups in Reverse too, though, could be obsessed with you, Sagittarius. They're a troublemaker. They're a trouble. I feel like whoever this is, this Knight of Cups in Reverse could be, like, they, they like a lot of hoes. They like, they like... Okay, no shade, but I'm just saying, like, they like to sleep around, rather. And then they get very obsessive, and something here failed, though. Something didn't work, because somebody here tried to do something underhanded to you to help this person, maybe, but it didn't work. It's like they're trying to, I don't know what this sick-ass ritual is that I'm pulling in. I can't even really describe it. But it's like somebody is trying to switch energies, or they're doing some sort of ritual or magic to swap your energy with someone else's or or vice versa it's like weird as fuck yeah ace of cups two of cups this is you where you're supposed to be at somebody's attacking you with a third party or whatever this dumb shit is that shit failed that shit failed what's this knight of cups reverse yeah the king of swords yeah archangel michael is showing up or you're dealing with an air sign or an air sign cut this nine of pentacles in reverse off but I'm getting this is some form of exploitation against you that could get their ass probably like illegally. If this is something 3D that they're doing, they're getting ready to get their ass locked up. Because somebody is trying to do something and they're not going to get nowhere with this energy. Somebody's like exploiting you in some sort of way. This King of Swords could be the law. This could be actual law. This is Archangel Michael. This is like spiritual. And you can't really take whatever the shit is to court because it's spiritual. So Archangel Michael got your back. Period. What's King of Cups reverse with the King of Swords? Yeah, the moon. Yeah, something that you can't see that's going on. Spirit is taking care of it. Archangel Michael is taking care of it for spirit. Or spirit got Archangel Michael on duty <laughs> to take care of it. Take care of whatever this is. Yeah, because Archangel Michael can see the deception or they can see it before it even hits you. So they blocking it. Or this could be an air sign that you're with here that has... um. They work close to Archangel Michael. They work close to spirit. They're spiritually blocking whatever the fuck they say. Somebody's like trying to have sex with you or they're trying to do something spiritually. And it's not, it's not, no. Yeah, look at this King of Wands. It's Incubus. 
this incubus or this warlock whoever what's the king of swords right here okay three of wands in reverse yeah somebody don't have no sense of foresight they can't see into something it could be an aries Yeah, something gonna fail every time. Like whatever this is, it's just no. It's a no. What's the moon? So a lack of foresight, a lack of growth, an expansion. What's the moon? Yeah, the ace of swords and the five of wands in reverse. So yeah, I feel like there's drama calming down, or it's like there is no damn competition. You're not going to fight with no damn body. Nobody can't fight against you because you're the best. So they might as well get off your dick. Sagittarius, just period. It's just time for them to move on. The Ace of Swords is a victory. It's the truth. It's making the right decision here. This is you listening to your intuition or whatever. Ain't nobody, like, spirit is not going to let whatever this is happen. There is no damn competition. They getting ready to see that right damn now. They keep on playing games. What's this page of pentacles reverse? Or somebody's hiding the fact that they know the truth. But there's going to be a breakthrough with the situation or in something here in your life. Yeah, the fool in reverse, Aquarius. So a distraction. What's page of pentacles reverse, fool reverse? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. So somebody's trying to distract you from whatever this money is that you're making or your this new beginning, this new solid offer that you're getting. Yeah, they, they need some money, probably for these legal issues that they got. They need something and they're trying to pull on your energy to get it, to save them. You're not going to get saved. <laughs> like, you're not. So yeah, look, justice. Yeah. Or this could be like karma that they got to repay, but they don't want to pay it. They want to keep using your energy to hide and shit. No. Full reverse Aquarius. Yeah. So that's like stupidity. Somebody is like, somebody here could be getting ready to go to jail for neglecting a child or they getting ready to get, I don't know what happened when you do that. I don't have those issues, <laughs> but somebody could be getting ready to like go to spiritual jail. They're going to real jail for neglecting something or doing black ass magic. We know they're going to spiritual jail for that. Mm. somebody just don't want to change their fucking ways they don't want to heal they don't want to like do something different they would just rather scheme and plot and just do whatever this is to get something it's like bitch you're not no mm. okay what's shady high key and sabotage yeah, will the fortune in the reverse? What else? What else for that? The King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they might as well get the fuck over it. Scorpio energy. Yeah, this person is just very emotionally manipulative. This person is very ruthless. When they don't, they're going to do whatever the fuck it takes to get their way. Definitely somebody here that do magic. They definitely practice magic for sure. This King of Cups reverse. But this is why they ask getting ready to get some bad karma. They do too damn much. So they're, they're experiencing setbacks, delays, definitely a lot of misfortune and loss. They didn't lose their damn mind. Yeah. What's both fortune in the reverse? Yep. Child, look, the chariot and the reverse and the justice. I just heard the SWAT team. Somebody get ready to have some SWATs come in tear their shit down, okay? Or whatever the fuck. But yeah, this person here is blocked because they have court or they got some shit today. Something is being made fair or made just, definitely in your life. But there's a lot of unwelcome changes here that's coming in for this person. Just period. The chariot in reverse is hate winning over love. This person is hateful as fuck. Definitely they didn't triumph over something. They lost. Somebody could have lost a court case or whatever. But it's fair. It works in your favor. So you don't give a fuck. Or you shouldn't. This could be... Somebody not having a sense of direction. Like they don't know what the fuck they gonna do. Or somebody just lost. What's the chariot in reverse? Definitely, yeah, the, the the Eight of Pentacles is cherry reverse. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, here we got, yeah, strong Virgo. Virgo sun, Virgo energy. Knight of Pentacles too could be Taurus, but
So I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, this is you focused on something. You're committed to something. You're putting the hard work into something. And this is you finishing what you started. Yeah, this is Eight of Pentacles and this Knight of Pentacles is Nine. We have the Nine of Pentacles over here in the reverse and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here, somebody, like they set you back or they did something here. They try to slow you down or they slowed you down by letting somebody else do something to you or they did something to you purposely. One of the other, I feel like they both did some shit. There's like two energies I'm feeling, but the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that finishes what they start. They're very responsible. They're reliable, okay? Like, somebody is on their shit. Just period. Yeah, the emperor. It could be this man. Just period. Yeah, maybe somebody's trying to coerce you into stop, like, stop focusing on whatever this is. Something here is progressing. It's just moving slow because it's, it's going to happen in divine timing. It's supposed to be like that because spirit wants it to happen or wants something to happen with you maybe in somebody else a certain way or they want something to happen here with your work maybe you started something that you need to finish too uh sagittarius with your job your work or a really good a really um your talent or a skill that you have that you're really good at rather so what's the justice yeah, two of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so a lack of flexibility or somebody's not adapting too well to these changes. Yeah, because they ass getting exposed. Yeah, and them and they bitch getting exposed. <laughs> oh, Y'all hoes is pathetic. Yeah, so, so I feel like something is getting ready to balance out or is balancing out for you, Sagittarius, because there wasn't no successful swap. Somebody here tried to swap something. That shit is not, that shit is not working whatsoever what's the king of cups in the reverse man yeah the judgment yeah it's judgment day it's, it's definitely judgment day so th there's an awakening that's happening here with you uh sagittarius i feel like this is you going into your purpose your calling this is renewal it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes here period yeah Yeah, it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes and you're stepping into your purpose. So it was King of Cups in reverse and the judgment. And that's why the shit getting ready to hit harder because it's time. It's time for motherfuckers to get what the fuck they deserve on, that, on top of the fact that they keep on trying to do some shit. It's like, what's King of Cups reverse with the judgment? Yeah, the magician, you're standing in your power. Your manifestations are coming through, period. This is big. Whatever you're manifesting or whatever you have your eyes set on or your mind set on or whatever you desire, you can definitely, you have the power to manifest it. So this could be you awakening to your power, your gifts, or this is a masculine doing this that you're dealing with. Yeah, this emperor, or this could be you and your emperor energy. But yeah, this is having a clear head and focus. You're focusing, just period. And your manifestations are definitely coming in. So this King of Cups, I don't know what the fuck they call themselves doing. I really don't. What's truth unveiled with intimidated and copying your style? The page of cups. What else? Yeah, the emperor. I feel like you have a real man in your life that admires you. Like, it's so nice when your person admires you and you admire them type thing. I feel like you, you, you're... This masculine is everything that this karmic masculine wants to be. They could never be that. This person is too childish. Okay, for some of you guys, there is a child here with this emperor or this emperor comes with the child. But I feel like y'all going to blend families for some of you or this is you. Some of y'all could be getting ready to take action on some sort of gift that you have or this emperor is awakening to their gifts or something. But I feel like there's good news coming in for this emperor, whoever the emperor is. This could be somebody getting ready to be a boss, a CEO. But there's a lot of focus and discipline here with this emperor energy. <laughs> This person could be healing their inner child or whatever. What's page cards? Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so this is something that you're you're saying with the Queen of Swords. Yeah, the Queen to the King of Swords. So this is you setting boundaries or calling something out here. You could have a lot of admirers. Or this is you protecting a child that you already have. Shit, this emperor could be getting ready to be stepdaddy, period. <laughs> for some of y'all know why i'm getting something about family strong but um 
Yeah, the Queen of Swords is someone that sets their boundaries. They're very intelligent. They're very um, discerning. So you're you're very smart. You can see shit. This <laughs> is like your gifts could be elevating. Or this person like takes you from being so serious to very playful. Like they could be playful. But they know when to get serious too. What's the page of cups with the Queen of Swords? Okay, yeah, the shrimp card. Yeah, and the King of Wands in the reverse. So yeah, I feel like um Leo energy, strong Leo. You have Leo in your chart too, Sagittarius, but this King of Wands in reverse is definitely somebody that's competing. I feel like with the shrimp card, you overcame something with this King of Wands reverse. They, with they abusive ass. Somebody's abusive, they're bitter. They're very much so a false leader. This person likes to, they're just a, they're just a loser. Or maybe you could have guided this emperor on, on how to like move away from, I don't know why I'm hearing a brother or uncle or a cousin or whoever this is or maybe a quote unquote best friend that was competing with them maybe you guided them out of something but this could be your warlock ass ex or whoever this is thinking that they're gonna get in the way of some shit and they're not what's this king of wands or you this could be you too where you found the strength yet yeah, to expose this person and you could be turning this pain from this abuser to working on something that's very creative something that you really are good at that you've always dreamt of doing, or maybe this could be you talking to your child and trying to guide them and teach them on how to not be like their weird ass fucking daddy or their bitch ass mama or whatever this is, <laughs> whatever this could be. What's the King of Wands reverse? Uh, yeah, the lovers. This person is trying to compete with somebody that already, that you have that aligns with your, with your family values and morals. This King of Wands in reverse, no, they can't teach nobody child shit. They can't teach their own children shit. It's sad, man. What's King of Wands reverse with the lovers? Gemini energy. I feel like somebody, yeah, somebody's trying to get in the, in the middle of something that you and somebody are creating. This person has lost their mind. <laughs> seven of Wands in reverse with the Seven of Cups. You guys could be saying seven, seven, seven. Yeah, this bitch is being warned to stop fucking around in your energy with this spell work. Like dead ass. So somebody, somebody, I feel like somebody's confused with the Seven of Cups. This is definitely an illusion or some type of dreamy energy or whatever. But the Seven of Wands in reverse, somebody feels defeated and they're like confused as to how or why. <laughs> this Seven of Cups in, re in reverse too, Seven of Wands. Or somebody, yeah, somebody's trying to cause an illusion to make you give up and stop standing up for what you believe in. They want you to surrender a partnership that's for you. They're competing with a loser ass like, because they're stuck somewhere where they don't want to be at. I feel like, child, yeah, look. Oh, this damn King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. These hoes are pathetic. Both of them together, they just, it's like, how the fuck you both going to be together and y'all both cannot manifest it's like what the fuck that's what y'all hoes get get the fuck out of this person energy the fuck what's the emperor yeah the devil what's the emperor with the devil and the three of cups in the reverse yeah there's like third party energy that's attacking this emperor or they're attacking you in hopes that you would not be with this emperor i feel like they need to get the fuck on somewhere asap <laughs> ASAP. Yeah, there's a lot of gossiping or temptation. They could be trying to tempt this emperor into like it's something around this emperor. But this emperor is very focused. This person is very disciplined. It's like somebody is trying to like, I don't know if they're trying to send spell work to you to affect this emperor in some sort of way or okay, yeah, with the three of cups in reverse, this could be somebody is trying to do spell work to make you think that this emperor is cheating. Who did I just get this for? Was it Virgo? And they're not. This person is very much so focused. They don't have you no damn third party. This is the fear, though. I feel like there's a third party that's obsessed with you for sure. Because, for one, if this is a female third party, they're mad that they chose, what, your ex to go be with, trying to be cute. And I feel like now their bitch ass is stuck over there with that loser narcissist. So, oh, well. And if this is a man that's competing, we see the man out here competing with this emperor. They trying to make you they trying to do magic on you to make you think that this emperor is cheating so that way you'll walk away. 
<laughs> like this emperor's doing nothing the emperor upright is their focus their discipline and i feel like there's some sort of romantic gesture here or you and this person get ready to have a child or this emperor admires you like somebody here really truly likes you they love you they care about you so something is an illusion they want you to stop fighting for what you believe in for sagittarius they want you to give up and get so burnt out and so scared that you just don't fuck with this shit no more i feel like do the opposite Number 42, your prayers are being answered. Yeah, embrace your life purpose. So it says your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will come soon, although perhaps in forms you didn't expect. Okay. So it says in the forgetting of your oneness with source that accompanies your earthly incarnation, it can be easy to fall into the belief that your prayers are unheard or unanswered. My darling child, this is simply not true. It is never true. I and all the other angels have deep compassion for you laboring under this misconception what may be true is that you are not getting the answer you expected so you do not recognize it as an answer prayer a different path to joy than the one you envisioned may be in progress for you or perhaps you are distracted by life in such a way that you don't even realize that you're being spoken to by heaven in the human experience the timing of an answer prayer can also be confusing you are impatient and you want the answers to your prayers now but sometimes waiting for the right moment to receive the answer is as much a part of the process as the answer itself. Use this affirmation. Every single prayer is being answered in perfect timing. Ask your guardian angels and me to help, to help amplify the answer to your prayers so that it is clearly heard and we, and we will happily do so. You can also ask me for the patience necessary to keep up your faith when the timing of the answer is challenging. Okay, I feel like this could be you needing to release your grip or control a little bit, just surrender and just let the connection flow. Okay, to keep bringing balance and, and coordination into the connection. Okay, to keep your energy, you and your masculine's energy just together. Because somebody here really trying it. <laughs> like they, they really are. Give me a card here for Sagittarius. Somebody here keep on overindulging and doing something with these third parties. I feel, I feel like there's like a ritual... Or there's like a lot of like sex. Somebody's like addicted to like doing sex magic or something like that. I, I don't know. But whatever they're trying to do, using third party hoes, well, that's not going to work. So next, give me a card here for Sagittarius. So we have Rhiannon. Bottom of the deck is Segment. The key word is swiftness. Yeah, your answers, your your prayers are being answered with swiftness. Is <laughs> something that's happening fast? It says symbols: horse, apple, birds, sun, and moon. Yeah, then we have affirmation: I manifest the right opportunities quickly. Meet the goddess. It says Rhiannon is a Celtic goddess who is also the divine queen of the Fae. Her name means great queen, and she is connected to the realms of magic, fertility, healing, the moon, songbirds, and white horses. Horses are an important sacred animal to the Celtic people, and many of their myths include these incredible creatures. Rhiannon was able to outrun anyone who tried to catch her on her resplendent, resplendent white horse, and it was not until she consented that another could catch up with her. She is said to pull the sun across the sky every day on her white steed. Rhiannon has come to you at this time as a sign of urgency. This urgency is not that of panic and fear, but you taking decisive action as soon as possible. Now is not the time to procrastinate. It is the time to get what needs to be done. If you wait too long, an opportunity may slip through fingers and it may be a while before you see it come around again. If you have been experiencing delays and roadblocks, know that Rhiannon appearing in your reading will see them disappear soon. The results of your efforts will be seen rapidly, so do not delay. So the work, it says work with Rhiannon. Go for a horse ride or a run. Leave an offering for the fairies and nature spirits in your garden and trust your initial feelings when making decisions. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, right, you know, men are going to be men. Okay, let's just start there. Men have different sexual appetites than us women. Okay, they, men are sexual creatures, like it doesn't mean bad things they just are sexual creatures and some men just have more discipline than others unlike this king of wands over here in the damn reverse like um with the page of cups too i'm getting idealism or like dreamy energy you know um i feel like 
somebody is trying to mimic this masculine. It's this King of Wands. It's a carp in your style, intimidated and truth unveiled. Mm. The truth is getting ready to come out about how many hoes this person just slept around with and how they keep on trying to play these games. How they really not loyal for real. But I feel like the hoes that sleep with them, they know that. This person does sex magic on everybody that they have sex with. And they use your energy somehow, some way to, to, to do it. Like, this person is sick. <laughs> Something is truly wrong with them. Somebody's addicted to third parties and they're trying to like project to make it seem like every man that you get with is going to be addicted to third parties too. Like they want their energy to be embedded in everybody that you date. They want you to keep like dating the same spirit in different bodies. I feel like you're done with this damn King of Wands reverse. So they might as well get their bitch ass on. What's this Nine of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Wands reverse, Page of Pentacles reverse? Somebody could be doing like wound magic or they're doing something... Um. Yeah, so we got White Rabbit here. Uh, spark of Curiosity, Spiritual Awakening. It's time. Heeding the call. Research it. Inner knowing. Dark to light. Going down the rabbit hole. Waking from the dream. What else for this? Fish Hook, Aquarius. Powerless, feeling hopeless, paralyzed, vulnerable, trapped, temptation, bait, con game, great catch, luck, prosperity, resourcefulness, abundance, and multiplication principle. Then we have youth in the reverse, mutable, breaking free, rebellious, insecure, idealistic on the verge, try things out, naive, hormonal, finding self and finding self impressionable, independent, receptive, strong will. Okay, so what does mean in reverse? Because this can mean a lot. What's this youth in the reverse? Because somebody, what, they're not childish? Like, yeah, person of air, whoever this Gemini Libra Aquarius man is. Yeah, the great mentalist. El Eloquent, eloquent, rational, upright, quick-witted, unemotional, controlling, sarcastic, cold, abrupt, critical, and calculated. Teacher, lawyer, surgeon, journalist, and chef. Yeah, so this person is very, like, mentally, they know what they want. Like, where he at? Yeah, right here. This person... Like, they're trying to do something to interfere with the energy of this masculine. It's not fucking... This masculine is too strong-minded. And I feel like this masculine don't give a, buck, give a fuck about nan bitch. They really don't. <laughs> like, I promise this person is not, like, the kind of person that's going to be in everybody's fucking face. Oh, God, I'm not getting that from this person at all. Yeah, we got Anem Kara. Unconditional love, romance, soulmates, uncommon bond. Devoted, always, tenderness, timeless, constant. Affection, best friends, appreciation, unchanging, and infinite love exactly so let me see what's this emperor yeah roadblocks so this emperor could be experiencing roadblocks but they're getting ready to this person could be even tempted to like go back to old friends or go back to like um doing some old things that they used to do but this person is very disciplined they know how to control themselves and i don't get that it's cheating but if they used to be in the streets heavy or something like that they could be tempted to try to do that or whatever but they got it they're not gonna do that and so we got block change barriers challenges time to regroup stuck paralyzed obstacles stalling temporary setback take a detour not right now one step forward two steps back yeah then we have cancer energy well deeper meaning community Okay, so that could be what this is. This person has karmic attachments that they need to get rid of. And they need to be open to getting your advice or something like that, possibly. That could be what that is for some of you. Okay. Yeah, we got will. Deeper meaning, community, hidden emotions, nourishing, social resources, true feelings, support, savings, perception, sustenance, looking deeper, provided for, and consciousness. So I feel like, yeah... This person is understanding that there's a deeper meaning to something here. I feel like there's something going on with this person's finances, too, that's changing. That's getting ready to change. Some of you guys could be becoming a mother by the summertime or whatever. Yeah, it's something that's changing here. So just keep at it. Don't worry about the spell work, child. That shit ain't, that shit ain't nothing. <laughs> it's really not Sagittarius. You know that. So yeah, this was your reading, guys. I hope this reading gave you lots of clarity. All right, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my readings. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.